Hi, my name is Basil Fouad, and I am a junior in Marquette University's Applied Investment Management Program. This Friday, February 11th, I will be pitching Matterport, ticker MTTR, on the New York Stock Exchange with a current price of $8.12 with a price target of $25.14, representing a 309% upside. Matterport operates as a spatial data company that focuses on digitizing and indexing the built world. Matterport is, in essence, a 3D data platform that is trusted by thousands of business users on a global scale to securely store and manage 3D digital prints of their properties. The firm's products include a 3D content platform, Pro 2 3D camera, 360 cameras, virtual reality, and mobile apps. It serves residential real estate, engineering and construction, travel and hospitality, and commercial real estate sectors. Matterport's revenue segments are split up into four. Subscription at 56%, licensing at 3%, services at 11%, and product at 30%. The company is headquartered in Sunnyvale, California, where it was founded in 2011 and had a successful IPO launch in 2021. Matterport is an industry first mover and a leader in the digitization of the build world, which is the largest asset class in the world, worth nearly $230 trillion. Their impressive technology allows users to capture 3D images of actual buildings and spaces and transform them into digital twins of real world objects. Matterport allows such landscapes and physical objects that are scanned to be digitally walked around in virtual reality or the metaverse. Matterport's pioneering technology has set the standard for nearly a decade and is raising the standard for the future, allowing their data to increase the value of every building in the world. Matterport has historically relied heavily on product revenue, but since its IPO, Matterport has been investing aggressively in its software side of the business. To stimulate the business's growth, they emphasize the freemium business model, which allows free users to sign up to use Matterport's technology by 3D scanning their real estate asset using their smartphone app which would essentially build a digital twin of their living space. Matterport has a remarkable head start on a $240 billion concept, which is the total addressable market for virtual spaces, in which Matterport has seized about $110 million last year. Matterport has undoubtedly one of the most unique business models that the Marquette AIM Fund has ever seen, being a potential bridge from the physical world to the metaverse. Given that Matterport has established itself as a clear market leader, and has an opportunity for tremendous growth. Being the bridge from the physical world to the metaverse, it is recommended that Matterport to be added to the Marquette AIM small cap fund with a price target of $25.14, representing an upside of 309%. With Matterport being such a young company, they heavily relied on four vectors for continuous growth. Their first vector is unlocking the SaaS flywheel where they focus on accelerating subscriber growth, in which they have projected an accelerated subscription mix of fiscal year 20 end of 52% to 86% by fiscal year 25, increasing by 3,400 basis points. Matterport's second vector, introducing new applications. To obtain this, Matterport has recently introduced Axis, which is a new hands-free motor mount for precision 3D captures on smartphones. Matterport's international expansions focus on scaling global reach to the new markets in which they operate in 170 countries. Matterport uses third-party marketplace as their final strategy for continuous growth, emphasizing partner and developer in integration. Matterport currently has partnerships with Foria, Treatise, VueAR, in which Matterport benefits from each by allowing the users to create immersive XR experience, visualiz visualization tools, and experience model API. First mover advantage. Matterport's tectonic shift in how people and companies define a physical space and what the capability is given a tremendous marketing opportunity to drive exponential revenue growth to the new value creation for every space on the planet with a potential of a hundred billion market cap. Being an industry leader, Matterport's potential growth has carried into fiscal year 21 with subscription gross margin being 76% growing six times year over year through their powerful SaaS model. 
Their freemium model of subscription has proven itself to be a useful strategy to their business by producing a 129% net dollar expansion rate, representing strong retention and customer loyalty. Matterport's subscription revenue as of quarter three of fiscal year 21 is at 56%, but has projected growth to 86% at the end of fiscal year 25, growing by 3,400 basis points, essentially followed by growth in gross margin from 56 percent to 73 percent at the end of fiscal year 21. Strong partnerships with Meta and promising partnerships. In June of 2021, Matterport announced a partnership with Meta, formerly known as Facebook, to release the world's largest data set of 3D spaces for academic research. This collaboration enables researchers to advance Meta's AI simulation platform for research in embodied AI which helps robots better understand and interact with the physical world. As of quarter three, fiscal year 21, Matterport has captured just over 18 billion square feet of real estate as, real estate as digital twins. Matterport's annual revenues as of today are 100 million, with a projected 240 billion total adjustable market, while still being in the very early stages. Matterport is already working heavily in the realty business, modeling real estate properties on sites such as Redfin and Remax. Other clients include Hyatt Hotels, Nationwide Insurance, Airbnb, H&M, and the U.S. State Department. To reach an intrinsic value for Matterport, a unique method was used. First, a calculation of sales by employee by share divided by price ratio for Matterport and each of its competitors were conducted. Then we took Matterport's enterprise value divided by the total average ratio given an implied multiplier of 5.408. Multiplying that metric by the share price of $8.12 gave a share price estimate of $43.91. Additionally, a calculation of sales by user by share divided by price for Matterport and each of its com competitors were conducted. We then took Matterport's enterprise value and divided it by the total average of the metric, which gave an implied multiplier of 0.785. Given the share price of $8.12, we multiplied both metrics to get an intrinsic value of Matterport. Averaging both intrinsic values, a final estimated value of $25.14 per share was the end result, which is an upside of over 300%. The firm does also not pay dividends. Risks. The first risk is relying on subscriptions. Even though Matterport has strong subscriber retention rate, any disruption in the retention rate in the future could significantly impact Matterport's revenue. Second risk, operating in a new market. Matterport operates in a new market and global economic and instability related to COVID-19. This could affect Matterport's business if existing and prospective clients reduce or postpone discretionary spending significantly. Their third risk is aggressive growth. Matterport has experienced rapid growth and expects to invest in growth for the foreseeable future. If Matterport fails to manage growth effectively, its business operating results and financial condition would be adversely affected. Management. R.J. Pittman has served as a CEO and chairman of Matterport since 2018. Previously, Pittman was a CPO and SVP at eBay and is credited for creating an advanced product technology and design group chartered to disrupt commerce. J.D. Fay is Matterport's CFO and has been since 2017. In here, I have also included the peer fundamentals and peer valuations.
Given the confusing state and the new innovative idea that Matterport is producing, I have decided to put in an actual usage of how Matterport works. Hope you guys enjoy.